Hi, this is Kurt Blattenberger with the AirplanesAndRockets.com website. I'm going to do a short video to show what the standard servo pulse waveform looks like. I've got a, um, a Hitachi oscilloscope here. It's just a 35 megahertz dual channel job. And I've got channels 1 and 2 of this Futaba radio. It's just a 4 channel FM radio. It's on channel 19. And it's the Futaba R168DF 8 channel receiver. And it's going to put out a standard type waveform to the servos. There's typically around 20 milliseconds between the sets of pulses. And the center width of the pulse for the servo is at about 1.5 milliseconds. All the way in the counterclockwise direction is one millisecond, and all the way in the clockwise direction is two milliseconds. So if you can pull in here on the display mounting, I'm showing on the top channel here, this is channel number one, which is the aileron channel. And it's set right now with the trims for uh, all the channels right in the middle. So you can see that the time base is set on 0.5 milliseconds per division. So we count one, two, three divisions, and that's the one and a half milliseconds that's indicated for the center of the servo position. The bottom channel is on channel number two, which is the elevator. It's also set in the center. And I'm showing, going to show you two channels so you can see what happens uh, to the successive channels as one pulse changes in width. Now right now I'm going to move the aileron stick all the way to the left position and you're going to watch this upper waveform. It's going to decrease and it's going almost to the second gradical line there which is just a little bit over one second. But you can see when I move the trim tab all the way over it moves all the way right to the edge of that one millisecond indicator. And then I'm going to put the trim tab back in the center. And there we're back at three positions, three times the half um, uh, millisecond is uh, one and a half milliseconds back in the center. And then we'll push it all the way to the right. It stops just shy of the fourth line, so that's almost two milliseconds. And then when I pull the trim tab all the way over, it fills that two milliseconds. So I'll put the trims back in the center again, just so I don't forget. But the interesting thing is, look what happens on channel 2 as I vary the pulse width of channel 1. As channel 1 is moving in pulse width, the channel 2, it's still maintaining its 1.5 millisecond pulse width, but it's shifting so that it starts coincidentally with the edge of channel 1. If I were to have a 3 or 4 channel scope and put the successive channel numbers on there, you would see that would happen with the rest of them too. Now the standard in the servo industry is that servos expect to see a new set of pulses about every 18 to 20 milliseconds. Right now I changed the time base for this horizontal sweep to 2 milliseconds per division. So since there's 10 divisions on the oscilloscope, there's a total of 20 milliseconds from the left side to the right side. And you can see here that this is uh, sitting somewhere in the 18 and a half to 19 millisecond realm. So it's a little shy of the, the center of, of, uh, of 20. But you can see if you watch back over here on the left side, you can still see that uh, one and a half uh, to two millisecond change between the center and the full right. There's full left to full right. Now that's without the, the trim extremities. But if you watch over here, the total time between those pulses doesn't change. And that's going to be it for now. Thank you. Mm -hmm.